approach. Why are you... Uh, uh, yeah, I remember. <clears throat> yes? Henry, don't tell me you are going into the mountains again. What a question. Of course I'm going. It's a free country, isn't it? But you promised to stop, and yet you are still going back every day. Don't you worry. I swear, it's the last time. I only have a few hours of work left, and then I'll disappear by the first train this afternoon. This is one time too many. Listen, my wife and I have had enough of your catastrophes. We won't be conniving anymore. Oh, it's too late for that. I see that you change your attitude whenever you feel like it. You didn't mind selling me all that equipment at a very high price. Talking of prices, I remind you that you haven't paid for your room and meals yet. Oh, don't worry about that. I've got enough and plenty more besides. Anyway, if I'd known that it would set off an avalanche, I'd never have agreed to... Now, now, let's not get excited, all right? Apart from some very regrettable material damage, the avalanche injured no one. So what are you complaining about? Don't ruin everything. If you report me, the authorities will be delighted to hear your story, too. It's not in your best interest, believe me. <laughs> well, I'm off now, and I'll come back shortly to pay what I owe you. Heidi, but why are you following Mr. Mason? I think he's got something to do with the destruction of Grandfather's Chile. You mustn't follow me. It's too dangerous, Kiko. Please, go back to the village. Uh... 